there's ever a position that we're coming into or something that is happening that you don't feel comfortable with, you are welcome to pull back, pull back a little bit on it. Listen to yourself tonight, take a rest if you need to, adjust if you need to, challenge yourself a little bit more through poses if you need to or you want to, and you can always just take a little nap. No one's gonna judge you, all right? The best thing about this class is we get to practice for an hour and then we just get to hang out, talk, have a beer, all right? So with that said, pull it up to the top of your mat. So you're gonna take your arms down by your sides. Take your feet about hip width apart, parallel. Draw that gaze forward, check the chest, engage the core, take a deep breath in. Exhale, grounding yourself down through that mat. This next breath in, sweep the arms high up overhead, big reach up towards the ceiling. Interlace the fingers, release the index fingers, and relax the shoulders. Draw the chest in, belly button nice and tight to the core. Go ahead and gently side bend over to the right side. Allow that gaze to stay forward. If you find yourself looking down or looking up, maybe readjust so you can keep the chest and the hips square at the front of the room. Give yourself that nice and deep breath in. And relax, you're looking back up to center. Reset the shoulders, check the chest, engage that core, whole body over to that left side. Same thing here. Reaching those fingertips towards the wall. Actively separating that bottom rib from that hip. Gently coming back up to center, relax the shoulders, deep breath in, reach the palms up, reach back towards the back of the room. Gaze gently up towards the ceiling. Draw the hips in, tuck the hips under. Open up that upper back. Reach the chest up, gaze up, breathe. Gently coming through center, take a soft bend of the knees, hinge forward from the waist and draw your chest down to your thighs. Let your fingertips rest towards the ground and let your head hang heavy. Take a moment here, take a deeper bend to the knees if you need to, if you're feeling a little bit tight in those hamstrings. Let your head just relax. If you're looking directly down towards your toes and that front edge of your mat, relax the head a little bit more. Look back towards the back edge of the mat, maybe to your shins or your knees. Deep breath in, come to that flat back position, hands to the shins, hands even resting on the thighs, whatever feels best for you. Take a little shift of the weight into the heels and into the seat. Reach the arms straight forward, see if you can wiggle those toes. Deep breath in, arms up, chest up, seat stays low. Relax the shoulders, check the chest, breathe. Fire up those thighs, work for that first beer. Gently reach all the way up and back, stretch it out, excellent job. Bring you back to your center, hands to heart, Deep breath in. Exhale, relax, arms. Interlace those fingers, release the index fingers, and relax the shoulders. Check the chest, engage the core, whole body over that right side. Maybe diving a little bit deeper into that side stretch. Feeling that stretch from the fingertips all the way down to the hip. Gently back up to center, relax the shoulders. Check the chest, full body over that left side. Gently reaching towards that side wall, separating that hip from that lower rib. Beautiful. Coming back up to center, relax the shoulders, check the chest, reach the fingertips up, draw a line across the ceiling towards the back of the room. Take a moment to envision those fingers reaching to that seam of the wall where it meets the ceiling. Gentle arch of the body, gentle gaze up of that face. As you come through center, take a soft bend of the knees and toward from the waist, drop the chest down towards the thighs, let the head hang heavy. Take a nice big full deep breath in. As you exhale, relax the head, the neck, the shoulders. Let those arms hang loose. Let your gaze fall towards the back of your mat. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, walk the fingertips over to your right side, reaching for the ankle, the calf, the back of the leg, maybe your edge of the mat. Allow your nose to stay close to the knee. See if you can keep those hips facing forward and take a gentle side stretch through that body. Excellent adjustments. Deep breath in. As you exhale through center and over to the left side, reach for that same spot. Ankle, calf, back of the leg, edge of the mat, nose close to the knee. Awesome job. Deep breath in. Exhale back to center. We're going to stay low here. Bend at the knees, place the palms down to your mat, making your adjustments here if you need to, either stepping the feet back or walking the hands forward. Work into that plank position. Take a moment here, shift the weight forward, tuck the hips under. Gently lower into the knees, keeping the back flat. As you lower down to the mat, lead with the chest and pin the elbows to the sides of the body. Excellent job. Take a nice big deep breath in. Lift the chest up, shoulder blades down and back, elbows to the sides of the body, and gently gaze forward. Coming into that cobra position. Gently release. Turn the toes under, pressing through the knees, bring the sit bones up nice and high, shift the weight up and shift it back. 
From here, you're drawing the heels towards the ground. Soft bend of the knees if you need to. Think butts up high, heads low, backs flat. So draw the sit bones up towards the ceiling. Press down through those palms. Engage that upper body. Fire up those biceps and create some space for the head and the neck. Often here to pedal out the heels. Taking some movement through those hips, stretching out the calves, the hamstrings. Excellent job stepping, walking, or hopping those feet up towards the top of your mat. Stay low with the head. Coming into that forward fold. Relax the head, the neck, and the shoulders. Deep breath in, flat back position. Hands to the shins, hands to the thighs. A little bit deeper with that bend. Send that sit bone back, send the heels back. Go ahead, reach the arms forward. Deep breath in, reach up, sink low. Challenge yourself here. Pull that belly button in. Relax the shoulders. Breathe through it. Feeling that activation of the tops of the thighs. Maybe sink the seat just one inch lower. Bring that chest up one inch higher. Maybe work for that second here. Or third. Awesome job. Reach out. We have fast. Stretch it out. We're going to come right through the center. Right back into that forward fold. Soft bend of the knees. Hinge forward from the waist. Chest towards the thighs. Let the head hang heavy. From here, deeper bend of the knees. Place the palms down to your mat. And gently step back into that plank position. Shift the way forward, tucking the hips under. Gently come into the knees are optional. Roll the whole body down from that knee to the chest. Deep breath in, lift the chest up off the mat. Drop the shoulder blades right down and back. Press the palms, option. To come for cobra position, all the way to upward facing up. Straighten those arms, squeezing the seat with the hips and thighs, just one inch or so. Gazing up. Gently release. Turn the toes under, press through the knees, when the sit bones up nice and high. Shift the weight up and shift it back. Draw the heels down towards the ground. Soft bend the knees if you need to. Set the sit up nice and high towards the ceiling. In this position, you want to think butts up high, head low, and back flat. If you need to adjust, adjust. Let the head hang through the shoulders. Maybe take a soft bend if you need to. Okay, that looks good. Cool. 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 Right foot, draw that heel just past your fingertips. Shift the weight forward, draw that right knee and right ankle into one line. Turn those left toes under, come into your deep lunge position. Root down through that right foot, spread the toes if you need to, squeeze through the inner and outer thigh, fire the foot, deep breath in, stay low, lift the arms up, chest up. You always have the option for lowering that left knee down to the ground if you like, but hold it down. Relax the shoulders. You guys just feel that? At least half of you just drop your shoulders by the end, so it's awesome.
Awesome job, gently slowly rotating back down, taking both hands to either side of the foot. Shift the weight back, keep the chest.
child's pose for a few breaths. If you need to adjust your knees, do so. If you need to take them a little bit wider, maybe take them closer together. Find that spot that feels comfortable for you here. Just rest and breathe. As you draw that breath in, let the back body expand. Let the ribs move. Let that breath help move all of those willing to cross the muscles. Work the diaphragm. Expand the lungs. As you exhale, sink a little bit deeper down into that position. Maybe you release a little bit of muscle tension you might be holding on to. Working in this position, take a nice big deep breath in. Press the fingertips down, lift the palms up. Working a spired position of the hands. As you exhale, walk the hands over to your right side. Just a couple of inches over, whatever feels best for you. Find that side stretch and gently release back down. Keeping in mind, you can always adjust accordingly. If you don't want to take that side bend, you don't have to. Deep breath. Reach over to that opposite side. When you find that position that feels good for you, just relax there for a moment. Take a couple of deep breaths in. Awesome job, nice and deep breath in, press those fingertips down, lift those palms up, exhale back to center. As you come back to center, press down through that mat, come back up onto the hands and the knees. From this position, walk the hands forward slightly, step the feet back, come into that plank position, shift the weight forward, tuck the hips under, option always to lower to the knees first, keeping that flat back position, or option to lower all the way down to the mat, leading with the chest, elbows to the sides of the body, gentle release, deep breath in, arch the back, take those chests up, Draw the shoulder blades down and back. Work that cobra position or option to press fully through to that upward facing dog. Slightly lift the hips and the thighs, gazing slightly up. And relax. Turning the toes under, pressing through the knees. Bring the sit bones up nice and high. Shift the weight up and shift it back. Drawing the heels down towards the mat. Drawing the chest down towards the thighs. Let the head hang heavy. Feet up towards the top of your mat. Stay low in that forward fold. Let your head hang heavy for a moment. Draw that nice big deep breath in. Flat back position. Hands to the shins. Hands to the thighs. Whatever feels best for you here. Draw the arms forward. Shift the weight into the heels. Into the seat. See if you can wiggle those toes. Right? Don't hold that stress there. Deep breath in. Reach the arms up. Chest up. Slow. Maybe you're working for that third beer. Or if you want to take that drop, you want to take that drop. <laughs> Am I giving you enough distraction? <laughs> That's the goal. Lap it up, Gerard. Deep breath in, reach all the way up and back. Excellent job, coming to center, hands to heart. Relax the arms back to your mountain pose. Shake it out for a minute. If you need some water, take some water. Hopefully, not if you're up here yet. We're going to take a couple of balancing positions. In this, I just want you to take it as far as you feel comfortable going. If you like to express the position a little bit more and faster, you're welcome to do so. Just please be mindful of it. So just start, we're gonna step up towards the top of your mat or maybe adjust with that artwork hanging above you, right? Take your feet hip width apart parallel. Find that comfortable position for your body to hold that weight. Allow the arms to come to the hips. Shift around a little bit with those feet. Find a comfortable position on that mat, feeling that pressure. And those four points of the foot, outer edge of the big toe, pinky toe, both outer edges of the heel. Shift that weight into your right foot. Hold there for a moment, find a focal point. We're just gonna gently draw those left toes up from the mat, maybe press the base. Tightening the core. When you're ready, gently, slowly, turn the bottom of the foot to the ankle. Slight openness of the Thank you. 
came around two months, right? Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Allergies from tree folks. <laughs> So in this position, you want to dip down into that standing leg, right? You want to pull up nice and tight. Find that straight line. When you're there, if you feel comfortable and you want to hold it there, awesome. If you want to go a little bit farther, you can bring that foot up onto the calf. The reason why I ask you to put your hands on your hips to start is you can feel that dip, right? You can feel that little sassy hip happening. You don't want to do that. You want to pull out of it. So if your elbows drop to one side or the other, just make that up. If you're feeling comfortable and confident in that, you're welcome to reach out for that ankle and draw that foot up to the inner thigh. It's either above or below. Option to take the hands from the hips to heart center, or maybe up overhead, whatever feels best for your balance. Oh, pretty good. Excellent work. Excellent job. When you're ready, gently releasing those arms, relaxing that foot.